Well, guys. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I know what that is. You know, so here we go. We've got my buddy Ricky from Technicas de Pesca y Mas. You gotta check out his channel. He actually has an online store and sells all of this jigging equipment. And he gave me 13 of these jigs. Lorenzo, we're gonna do slow pitch jigging for the first time. What do you think, buddy? Holy Ridge. Holy Ridge, here we go. Um, question is, I'm kind of curious. Like, there's so many different like shapes. Look at that. I, th I think this one sinks slower. It mm -hmm. kind of flutters more. These longer guys, they just kind of drop down real quick. We'll Got, probably have to use those guys. Well, well, they're all about the same weight. I guess it depends how much how much um, current there is. Mm -hmm. So these are so cool, bro. Lorenzo, do you, is one calling out to you, like one that you're going to use and see it? This guy right here. You like that? Yeah, or this guy. Okay, let me see. You like that? Yes. Yeah, I don't know what they're called, guys. I don't know what they are. We're going to probably have to um, get some names of stuff. They're all 200 grams. We're fishing from two to 300 feet. Hopefully, it'll be enough. I hear it's about a gram per meter, or a gram per foot depth. But, guys, comment down below. If you were going to Pulley Ridge, which one would you start fishing? To get into some grouper or something like that. This one looks decent. Yeah, but there's actually, you know what this one is? What? 100% glow in the dark, baby. Let's see. All right, guys. Now the other part of this is these are all these are all heavy. You know, 200 grams. 200 grams. All right. Now, Ricky also provided for us some hooks. Now, make sure you don't cut through stuff. So he's sent us some hooks. From Japan. Oh, from Japan. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. These are good. These are good. Do they have their rings on them or anything? Oh, we need to get rings. Oh, that, we can do that. We need to get buddy. rings. Oh, oh. oh Ricky. 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 <laughs> All right, why don't, you, why don't you rig up your, your guy real quick? Can you open it? Oh, it's already open. Yeah. <laughs> How dumb are you to eat this? <laughs> 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 I mean, it's a lead. It doesn't, doesn't look very appetizing, buddy. No, not really. No. Okay. Now, I did one for each one. Oh, these are hard. Are they? Put on. Hold on. Gotta put the split ring on first. Hi guys, David Fine from Watch Your Lip. We are going slow pitch jigging for the first time out in Pulley Ridge. So if you're gonna slow pitch jig anywhere in Florida, Pulley Ridge is a place to start. Uh, Ricky from Tecnicas de Pesca y Mas gave us uh, a bunch of these really cool jigs, which glow in the dark and all that, and they're amazing. These are 200 gram jigs. And we are gonna go and see if we can catch a big old snapper or a mutton or a Amber grouper, Jack. amberjack, blackfin tuna, something like that on these jigs. We're gonna see what they, I can't wait to actually try slow pitch jigging for the first time. But as you can see, the hooks aren't on them. So what we wanna do is we want to uh, show you guys um, how to get the hooks and using one of these split rings, okay? And we've never actually done split rings before on our own. We usually buy lures and stuff that already have this assembled. But uh, we actually had a hard time putting this on, didn't we, Lorenzo? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we learned that there is a special tool that you use to do it. So we're going to show you how to put... Dad, where did you put my... Oh, sorry. All right, guys, let's put some hooks on these jigs. Now, first things first... You, what you don't want to do, you don't want to skimp out on these rings because I've seen these straightened before. So they, we got really heavy duty split rings. Okay, very heavy duty, stainless steel. Don't skimp out 
on these rings. Spend a little extra money, get the good ones, okay? And you don't want to skimp out on your hooks, okay? Now, something just happened that was a little embarrassing. Um, I picked up this hook, and you see how the this little solid ring is through here. And what it, it did, it, this little solid ring came off, and I was just trying to figure out how to get the solid ring back on so that it looks like that. And I was like trying all different things. Guys, it's pretty simple. If that happens to you, don't go crazy. You literally just put the line through the ring and then you bring the, the rope back over the split ring and pull tight, just like that, okay? So that's that to save you embarrassment because I went through embarrassment. These split rings, guys, these split rings, you know, I was sitting there trying to get my thumbnail in there, trying to open it up. We, we were trying to like get it with like a, a nail or something like that, trying to figure out how to get this split ring open so that it would go on here. And guess what? They make pliers made specifically for that. And you see the, the little tiny little tooth here on the end of the pliers? That thing is your best friend if you're gonna be putting your own hooks on your jigs. So, okay. okay. You take this little tooth and you stick it right inside of the groove, okay? Then, that opens it. See how it's open here? Oh. See how it's open there a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so you, you split it open and you use the rest of the jig, the rest of the ring, to press it open. Now you get the, the little eye of the of the jig inside the ring and you you twist it all the way on, just like that. That one's on. Before putting hooks on, guys, I like to put both of the rings on just so I'm not, I'm doing as little as I can with actual big sharp hooks on the lure so I don't get a hook in my flesh because that's not fun. Uh -uh. No. All right, I got both of my guns on. Now, I got, we have our hooks. And guys, by the way, these jigs, the rings, the hooks, and the pliers, you can all get these on Ricky's uh, online tackle shop. Link in description. Link in the description. Technicus de Pesky Mas. I'm saying it like a little bit like a gringo. I, I apologize, but you're gonna get them for a greatly reduced price than you would at a big tackle shop. Yeah. Ricky's the man. So uh, check this stuff out. He's got a huge assortment of stuff. Now we're gonna get these hooks on our split ring. This is a little more tricky because these these hooks are like super sharp and you don't want them going in you. So what you gotta do is you gotta stick this in here and you gotta open it a little bit. You gotta be able to open it a little bit There, I got the ring inside. See that? Uh -huh. And then with the pliers, same thing. You just, you don't do that. Now, without hooking yourself. This is tough because the, the last little piece over here, mm, Quite. There we go. All right. Hook number one is on, and this little rope will never slide back over the end like it did to me before I put them on. All right. Hook number two. All right. Now, this is a little more tricky because we have two big old hooks hanging off this end. And so we got to make sure we don't stab ourselves. So you can use, we get our little pliers, get in the split ring, open it and twist a little bit so it opens up. Use the table to get it on. And you gotta twist it on, there we go. Hooks are sharp. That's good. It's gonna be put one of these through a tuna soon there we go there's bingo the guys 
our vertical jig Bingo. is ready to roll, man. So guys, now last thing, when you're storing them, these things are painted. They're, they literally have a spray coat of paint. And if they're in your tackle box and they're moving around, these hooks are gonna scratch up your paint. So save the little plastic sleeves that the jigs come in and put them back in and store them in your tackle box like that because that way we're gonna save our jigs from getting all scratched up. Let's see. We'll start with the hooks. Because these jigs are not cheap. They're like 25 bucks a pop. Yeah, these are like 20 bucks a pop plus the hardware. Ricky will sell you the hooks, guys. A set of four of these hooks for one lure. Let's sell you the hooks for seven bucks. Um, I saw them in the store the other day for like- 12, 15. 12, 15 bucks, yeah, so. Um, you're definitely saving money if you buy with Ricky. Um, and so check out the link in my description for all of your tackle needs, especially for deep jigging. So it's a little bit harder to get them in there with the hooks on it. But at least, guys, I'll put it in my tackle box like this. And at least it won't get all messed up. But as you can see, we, we're, have, one more to the collection. we have one more to the collection. We have all of our little slow pitch jigs. Um, hooked up and ready to go and we're ready to rock and roll so guys hope you like the video check us out at pulley ridge and let's see how we do slow pitch jigging for the very first time out at pulley ridge guys like the video it helps out our channel when you press the like button and comment down below if you know an easier way to put a split ring on a lure and so um we're noobs. I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna say it. We're noobs at this. So new thing for me. Till next time guys, watch your lip. Check out our Pulley Ridge video series coming up. So check this out guys. This is I just brought my tackle box into the garage after having it outside. And that just shows you the glow in the dark paint that these things have on them that help mimic bioluminescence so that's pretty cool guys can't wait to use these out at pulley ridge